So my dudes, Valk here, and today I'm going to be talking about a debate as old as time. The absolute best get character or unit in Genshin, essentially. Now, as you can see by my team, Yelan's here because we all like Yelan. But, the top three that kind of almost everyone can agree with are Raiden, Shogun, Kazuha, and Binnen. The reason I'm bringing in all three is because they're kind of interchangeable. Now, before I get into who I think is the absolute best, which a lot of you probably already know, uh, who I think is the absolute best of the three, I have to make sure to go ahead and say this right away. There is no wrong opinion on this. All three are insane. And your opinion is going to be basically accompanied by personal bias. Personal bias is going to come from how much you've used the unit, how much you've played them, how much you've uh, invested in them, or how much you basically how much you like them. There's going to be a lot of personal bias involved, no matter how you get into it, because you have to base your opinion off your own personal experiences. Otherwise, you're just silly, because that's what opinion should be, is based off your own personal experiences. Whether that personal experience is watching another video, or playing the unit constantly, your opinion is going to be based off your own personal experience, making it inherently biased. You cannot have an opinion without bias. So, there isn't really a wrong answer to who's the best unit in Genshin, as long as you know you mention one of these top three. Because these top three, in my opinion, are kind of undoubtedly, at least one of them is going to make your number one spot. So, I want to talk about mine. And it's no shocker to everyone that it's Raiden Shogun. I know. Amazing, right? Um, and there's a reason as to why I want to do it. I want to talk about which unit provides and why I think Raiden is better than all of them. So, Bennett. Bennett, he can do insane damage. A lot of people forget this. But his charge skill actually has pretty decent scaling. Here, I don't have it leveled, but you can see the explosion damage whenever it's fully charged. It has good scaling. Even at level 5, whenever you have it leveled, it just goes up tremendously. And then his ult is the most broken thing in the game, probably. His ult basically gives you a ton of attack, heals your entire team, and consistently or constantly applies pyro to yourself and the enemies. It's insanely good. Insane value all around. Bennett is a super crack character that almost everyone, and I do mean everyone, has built and has on their team. Next, we get into Kazuha. Kazuha, it provides Viridescent Viernir Shred, which is insanely valuable because it's absolutely the best artifact set in the game. He provides about three different forms of CC, four if you count the little, like, if you count this little suction thing he has going on right here, four, because that does pull in smaller enemies. Uh, so it can go up to four types of CC, because there's also a knockback whenever he pops his ult initially. And he also does insane damage thanks to his passives, and then his second passive makes him a walking elemental damage percent goblet for whatever element he's swirling. So he's going to buff up the damage and also do the Veridesa Veneer. He's also going to shred the damage as well, or shred the defense. So he's going to be doing, he's a super multifaceted character that is basically almost unrivaled in terms of support in any Electro, Hydro, Cryo, or Pyro team. He is just insanely good uh, to the point where he is easily, I could definitely see an argument for him being the best unit in the game as well. Now we finally get to my girl Raiden Shogun and why I think she's the best unit in the game. Well, there is so much to talk about with her because she is one of the most complex kits in Genshin, but she has a bunch of unique capabilities and buffs that also make her insanely good. Now a lot of her buffs apply to herself, so it's going to be kind of crazy whenever you start talking about everything she does. So, first things first, her chakra, she basically has a stacking ult, and we all know how stacking ults work in this game. They end up doing ridiculous amounts of damage whenever you get up to high stacks. It is not hard for her to be high stacks, especially with how many units are coming out recently that have very high ult costs, so it is not hard at all for her to be able to get actually max resolve stacks. So, she's going to end up being able to deal insane amounts of damage, even at C0. I have to make sure to drive this point home. Because of the way resolve stacks work and the way stacking mechanics work all together, provided you have good artifacts and you have a good weapon, she's going to do insane amounts of damage on her ult, during her ult. And she synergizes insanely well with stuff like Yelan, Sing Cho, uh, Xing Ling, etc. She synergizes with off-field DPSs so well because she batteries them 
through her ult that she's doing damage with, and she's the main driver of the team, she batteries people off the field with their energy regeneration. That is so incredibly important, as well as dealing insane damage. Then we get into this. When nearby party members gain elemental orbs or particles, Chakra Desiderate gains two resolve stacks. Just anytime somebody generates energy, she gets more resolve stacks. But the very big one, probably the, mo the strongest self-buffing passive in the game, each 1% above 100% energy recharge that the Riding Shogun progresses or possesses grants her 0.6% greater energy restoration from Muso Ishin, which is the energy that it says right there, Muso Ishin Energy Restoration 2.5, and it gains 0.4% Electro Damage Bonus. So this passive is broken broken. This passive is insane to the point where I have a 213 ER% percent Raiden Shogun, and that 213% is actually going to transfer to about 92% Electro Damage Bonus whenever you factor in a Goblet, and the fact that her best weapon, Engulfing Lightning, also gives attack over energy recharge, and she gives 50% more energy recharge for 12 seconds after using Elemental Burst. So if I press the funny ult button, which her animations are, mm, just kiss beautiful, but that's not why I'm saying she's the best unit in the game. She goes up to 264% energy recharge and then 112% electro damage. Now keep in mind and look at her attack. This is no Bennett buff, this is just her 2800 attack. Now keep in mind whenever I said this is an incredibly biased opinion because I've had the experience of a C6 R5 Raiden Shogun. You can see C6 R5 and what she becomes is insane. I have other C6 units and none of them are close. Nothing I've played in this game is close yet to what Raiden Shogun can do. And not to mention her constellations. Now, I didn't bring up Constellations and the other characters because I didn't have experience with uh, his Constellations, and I just assume everyone's got a C5 Bennett. But <clears throat> for Raiden Shogun specifically, if you get... This is one of the most broken DPS Constellations in the game. Whenever she's in her Musa no Hitotachi, or whenever she's in the Musa no Ishin state, she ignores 60% of the defense. That is beyond bonkers. This increases the ult by 3, this one, it grants all nearby party members 30% bonus attack. <clears throat> and this is probably one of the most slept on constellations in the game. It lowers elemental burst cooldowns by one second when they hit their opponents. It goes up to five seconds. It lets you have 100% uptime on certain ults like Yelan, but it is a very, very, very powerful passive. But that's not all. Back to what free to play can get out of her. This is her skill. Her skill is one of the most slept on things in the game as well. The coordinated damage is not that good, we're very aware. But the elemental dam burst damage bonus, 0.3% per energy. So basically, the more energy something costs, if it's a higher cost ult, the more bonus damage you get out of this. This adds up tremendously. This is going to help you deal so much bonus damage, and not to mention it applies for herself whenever she has a 90 cost ult. And she can also almost self completely self-regenerate her own energy off of particles she generates while she's in her ult, and off of uh, just killing stuff because the sheer amount of damage she's going to do. You pair her with two off-field DPSs, like Ye I've been trying Yelan Sing Cho with her. It's just absolute insanity the amount of damage she pumps out. She is an absolute powerhouse and a mix of a DPS and a support, and that's why I think she's absolutely the best unit in the game. So, here it is. If you guys don't agree with me, which like I said at the beginning of the video, everything's based around bias and personal use. I've had the use of a C6 R5 Raiden for as long as I can remember. That's why she's been plugged in almost every single team I use. So if you guys disagree with me, feel free to tell me in the comment section below and tell me who your pick for best character in the game is and as to why. Other than that, thank you guys for watching as always. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.